Hey there gorgeous guys, version 2 here. Welcome to the end of E3, the Nintendo Direct E3. Yeah, I skipped the Capcom one. Um, I saw what they said before the Capcom one um, of what it would be. I asked people afterwards and it was literally exactly that. There was no announcements, so I skipped Capcom. Um, <laughs> just, as a, just as a heads up. This is Nintendo E3. Um, people want this to save E3. I never went into E3 with as much expectations as other people because I was aware that we were in a pandemic for the last 18 months. Um, but the conferences still haven't been great. Like, Xbox is, is fine. There was, just, there was nothing that was like, whoa, holy shit, really, at Xbox? But, like, everything they showed, like, they sh what they showed was fine. <laughs> and the presentation was well done. Uh, Square was, yeah. <laughs> and always the Revealed and Ring looked cool. But it has obviously been an E3 where there hasn't been any... Mind-blowing explosive excitements. Um, will Nintendo have that? I'm not going in expecting it. Because again, pandemic for the last 18 months. Honestly, for me, my main expectations for this are centered on... There's three games that we've heard about. Um, announced their titles. In one case, not even the title. I'd like to hear something on some of them. Breath of the Wild 2, Prime 4, and Bayo 3, obviously. Um, I'm not expecting to hear anything on all of them. Um, but at least some of them I'd like to. I have been saying for the last two weeks, because I'm a fucking idiot, um, that if we get a date, uh, or a window or something for Breath of the Wild 2 today, that I will do a 100% speedrun of the first, uh, Breath of the Wild over the course of several days. Um, unless it comes out in, like, a couple months and I don't have time to prepare. So I'm both kind of excited and nervous as shit for, a uh, Breath of the Wild 2 news. Um, and obviously Smash stuff. I'm not expecting two characters. Um, I've seen a lot of people expect two characters. I wouldn't be shocked if there's two characters, but I'm not going in expecting it. Because I'm wondering if they might want to save the final character for the final character ever for Smash Ultimate. The biggest Smash there's been for its own special event. Um, but we might get to. It's within, it's within their own possibility. I'm just not going in expecting it. And obviously, who I want for Smash, you, 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 you know who it is. It's the Gun Trick, Gun Trick, Sword Man, and the Dragon of Dojima. Um, and beyond that, I'm not expecting anything, so I'm just happy to be surprised by everything. Hello, everyone. Hello, everything. Um, welcome. Let's do this. Yell at me about volume, because I have no idea of volume. It's also quiet on my end, because obviously it's still early in the morning. But, you know, let's see how it goes. <laughs> I have to be very careful when navigating past this timeline bar that I always go down to this side of it. <laughs> but not hit the... the, the the fast forward button. It's loud as shit on my end, but it seems quiet on your end. How do I fix this? How do I fix this? Sup, Alto? Welcome to the stream. Hello, everyone. I'm Shin Volume Takahashi, and I'll be it's your so guide loud for today's Nintendo Direct. So loud, oh my god. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, I think that's just me and waking I'll be up your guide morning, as well. Feeling like P. Diddy. The Nintendo Switch system is now in its fifth year. And many people Fuck, around five the years. world are playing games on it's it. It's four years old, but it's Nintendo in the Switch years. is being enjoyed by a wide range of players spanning all ages and all levels Sup, of gaming everyone. experience. Switch is the best Thank console you all ever made. Very That's my much. opinion. <laughs> That's where my opinion lies. Still seems quite We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system, not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development but from and everyone. partners. <laughs> I hope that each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. Today, we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. Okay, we better what hope you enjoy are. They made a console that people want to support. <laughs> okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. <laughs> Is that a hint? It's a co-op thing? Is this Smash? Or is this Breath of the Wild 2? I can't even tell. That just looks like the thing they landed in for Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, uh, sorry, in um, the World of Light thing. <laughs> they said it wouldn't happen! <laughs> Kazuya! I'm pretty sure people explicitly said that Tekken wasn't happening. <laughs> well, there we go. 
<laughs> this is actually one that I like. This is actually a fighting game I'm not familiar with at all, <laughs> but it is cool to see. <laughs> Oh, but it's a ring out stage. So this is probably a reference to something, but again. They're throwing characters in the lava. This is fucked up. <laughs> this is the most exciting choice, but it's a very solid one. And you turn into a demon mode. <laughs> Again, I saw people say explicitly, this isn't happening. It's been explicitly deconfirmed. But not enough people died in this trailer. Not enough people died in the previous trailers either, it seems. <laughs> but, you know, again. Wasn't this literal? I think this is literally in the predictions I made before the start of season two. <laughs> I would have heard, hey, Hachi's still on major W. Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, it wasn't Kazuya, it was, um, because Heihachi was my main one, and then it was someone else. No, you can't kill Kirby. No, it was the, it was the other main dude. His dad threw him off a cliff as a kid, and then arcade mode ending for the first game, seemed throwing his dad off a cliff in the exact same manner. <laughs> yeah, can't kill Kirby. <laughs> Okay, I saw people Hello. say explicitly bad from Sora Limited Tekken and the director of the so Super Tekken Smash Brothers great. Ultimate game. More fighting Kazuya games Mishima than thing. from the fighting game yeah, series Tekken, Tekken will join the battle. <laughs> like, Surprise! I'll go over the details hey, the at a later date, so his please sit tight. He did, he did For look today, very though, we've prepared similar. a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Please take a look. Uh, all the other fighting games get to come to Smash. I mean, it. So the, thing, the cool thing about it being Kazuya is that it shows that it's not just going to be the poster boys of other franchises. I mean, when we got Ryu and Ken and Carriers, it's like, okay, well, they're the poster boys. Kazuya's not. <laughs> Again, Tekken, not at all the, like, it's a fighting game, but I know nothing. Nothing. I know nothing about Tekken. Um... Like, I, I know Hey Hachi, and, that, and that's really, um, and that's really it. But, it is still very exciting to see Tekken in here. Like, obviously, Terry was the big one for me because KOF is the fighting game that I have the most experience with in my life because of my childhood and nothing else. But still, I feel like Tekken's humor is right up your alley. This feels like Tekken. <laughs> no, it's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> it feels like Tekken. I'll talk about the fighter more in a future the guy presentation. Tekken, not sure but he, someone we still have knows. to record it first, actually. See, I, th I figured that was a hot cheap, but the that air might date just be is me shown first. below. Please stay tuned. Hey, they're showing them off very soon, too. Okay, nice. Thank you, Mr. Sakurai. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool. Again, not a personal fighter, pick for Kazuya, me, but it's still fucking we'll sick to see. In Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Again, I, I had how it, it was Hey Hachi and whatever the main dude is. Harsh battles I was basically the main protagonist sometimes in the series, series in alongside game. Jin and Hey Hachi is basically the All main right. main villain. Let's continue. Oh, Hey Hachi is the oh I didn't realize Nintendo Hey Hachi Switch was the villain. Oh, okay. Again, I know Your very little. Your choices matter <laughs> in these emotional I know very supernatural yeah, I think tales. Yeah, it was Jin and Hey Hachi that I picked. But it's good to say, but yeah, so. Again, I saw people say hard, definitely no tech, and no matter what, it's been confirmed by like Harada and he, like, or someone else on development of tech, and that Tekken is not happening. And then Tekken happened. <laughs> oh, life is strange. Okay, we're seeing life is strange again here. Hey, and it's Alex from the new one. And fuck the characters from the second life is strange, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so, but, okay. They're just actually going to switch. Okay. And they just made a cute little video to show, to show that. If you want to see my thoughts on Life is Strange, feel free to watch the Square Enix E3 um, uh, reaction. Because that, that basically sums up everything. Life is Strange 2 never happened. That was the one about the brothers, right? Again, after Life is Strange 1, I haven't touched any of this. I haven't even Life touched is before Strange the True Colors <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch September 10th. And Life is Strange Remastered later Collection <laughs> comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. Oh, this year. Sorry, I thought I said later today. Oh. <laughs> There's something for everyone on the Nintendo Switch system. Yeah, how many shadow drops are we going to get? 
You got into are the Star okay. Lord, leading a legendary I'll be honest, band I'm of heroes for hire in this glitch. thrilling action adventure game. Jump on a wild ride. Maybe that explains why the graphics aren't ridiculously stupid, stupid high in this. combat style and encounter iconic and original Marvel characters. Cloud only. Call the shots for the unpredictable guardians. So basically, I can't play it on to save the galaxy. You got this, probably. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy blasts onto Nintendo so, Switch. So this requires 26. Nintendo's to be the last show because Worms it has all of the everywhere. Other stuff. In this real-time arena-based shooter, you'll squish your invertebrate opponents in 32 players. Is this Smash Bros. But it's worse. Play in daily challenges, <laughs> battle modes, and, and in about three minutes we've covered half of this presentation. I know it's almost Plus, like Nintendo how to present stuff exclusive as opposed to, to the Square Nintendo Enix Switch version don't. will be available for free for two weeks after launch. They spent the same a amount of time at Space 19, Sports Showdown 2019. launches with Worms Rumble on, uh, wriggling onto Final Nintendo Fantasy Switch June 23rd. To, Get a 25% um, discount on your pre-order of the game the starting today on Nintendo eShop. The difference is that in the world was hyped to stay dicks off the Final Fantasy remake and seeing stuff about it, and they actually showed it off in a good way. The Fantastical Realm of Orc Cannon awaits. As you explore this fully it always felt like they were showing off new stuff in that, as a team of demigods the and unleash the devastating attacks and it was like kind of turn based combat few bits over and over again Astria ascending launches on Nintendo Switch Is this vanillaware? This looks vanillaware shit That looks like vanillaware Return to the funny, charming, and quirky world of Two Point Campus. Also, another thing we saw in, in the, the wholesome <laughs> management sim Two Point Campus. You'll build and run your very own university the way you want. Not vanilla way. Lots of creative like, tools are at your disposal to make the school yours and take your Don't educational worry, I'll empire to, playing, to the next level. Um, Enrollment for Two point, point, point Campus starts it's on Nintendo quite Switch quite on next list. year. Um, <laughs> nah, it's gonna be one of the sooner ones. Like once I clear up my schedule. And start some other things. A beloved series rolls into its 20th anniversary this year. We're actually year. getting Donkey Kong news? We are not getting Donkey Kong news. Fuck off. Oh, Monkey Ball. Oh, okay. Different monkey. Okay. Okay, if you're showing the previous styles, it makes me think the previous styles are going to switch. <laughs> I was gonna say, after Donkey Kong Country returns to Tropical Freeze being so long, guys, I figured the return saga was done. <laughs> DK's hold of this one. Hey, this is true. This is very true. Mario was 35 and Donkey Kong at the same time, so. <laughs> It's early in the morning, give me a break. <laughs> Did you guys have a bigger side of a game? Go bananas from one to eight, Super four. Monkey Ball Banana Mania there you go. rolls onto Nintendo four. Switch October 5th. It's a blast from parties past. Okay, darn. Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a blast superstar party. collection of Mario Party boards and minigames. Is this actually happening? Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's Birthday Cake and Spaceland. Each board is packed with zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. And when we say oh, zany, we mean it. Jump. Connect blocks. Like and is it facelifts? That it's mini games from it too. Over the top mini games. It's mini games from it too. Button controls. It's not to With the extent that games from the Mario Party series. It is actually happening. You'll have a it is actually a Mario Party that combines fun fucking Here's a little party the favorite. Mario Party All series. Game modes work with online play. Oh, it's actually happening. Even if you're partying solo, Mario Party 100, but people actually other play it actually has boards. <laughs> Playing a board game online with it friends? It was so annoying seeing Mario Save Party 100 and it just being Grab a snack, like, yeah, that's what we want, but we want the boards to. Stickers are also <laughs> available to communicate with others. Ready to get salty in Mario Party it's matchmaking? Time to party we are going Mario to do. Party superstars. Launching on the Nintendo <laughs> Switch system Rowlet. October 29th. Rowlet's adorable, Rowlet's somewhere back begin there. today on Nintendo eShop. I think Rowlet's like directly by my chair. <laughs> We what are going to do Mario Party 7 Before on stream and y'all are going to join me with online shit and it's going like to be fucking thing. amazing. Currently, we are working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime 4. Do you which have Which we previously announced. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. <laughs> we're getting, Let's take a look. We're getting gameplay for a non-Metroid Prime 4 game before we get gameplay for anything for Metroid Prime 4.
Metroid Prime 5, let's go! Five, so it would be Fusion! Because Fusion's four and Super Metroid's three, right? That makes this the latest game in the timeline, right? Because Fusion's the last in the timeline, and this is... Oh, holy shit! Holy shit! Exceeding expectations or fucking what? Ex fucking seeding expectations! Holy shit! I don't think anyone had this on their fucking bingo cards! <laughs> Metroid Dread. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Wait, was this game cancelled back in the day? And then they just brought it back because fuck it, let's let's actually feed the starving Metroid fans. <laughs> yeah, okay. This alone means Nintendo has won E3. This alone means Nintendo has won. This is fucking wild. Dread has been a rumored Metroid title since the original DS. Holy shit. I mean, Fusion's fucking GBA. It has been a hot minute. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is... Nintendo won E3 on that alone. And it's this fucking year and in like a couple months? Wow. That was the trailer wow. for the first new 2D Metroid Holy game shit. in roughly 19 years. The brand new Metroid Dread game. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showtasing a variety of threats. <laughs> Gotta do something up to resetting Prime 4 development. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. That is... On that same day, we'll also Ooh. be releasing Amiibo figures for Samus So part of Samus' Emmy, suit, the robots I know the part of the story of Fusion is that she gets Let's infected by the, the sacks, headlines. right? Because she's now been infected by several things at this point. These familiar franchises are <laughs> the suit looks good. It has like vein, like groups on I'm something. Get ready to Sub get the down in the latest the Just Dance game. Squad and A hey, Just Dance. Geared <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't care about copyright strikes and stuff. Uh, well, co okay, copyright strikes I care about, but like demonetization I don't. Although getting banned from, although Twitch sometimes will ban you from Twitch for one DMCA thing. <laughs> so there is that. All right, unmute. The Cruisin Blast. Cruisin Blast is speeding onto Nintendo I guess I get this Switch. instead of Mario Kart 9. <laughs> Samus is really into jazz, affected by the, the sax. <laughs> Up to four players can race well, together. That's what I have so to wonder. Is part of why her suit looks the way it does because of the end Cruising results of that? Because like there is Nintendo like Switch those line ball. pods in between the connections and stuff like that. It's the ultimate Dragon Ball Z experience. All the olds relive the oh, story no, is... of Goku and other Z fighters through four sagas in this action RPG. Okay. Say it. Protect the Earth from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Okay. Frieza, take a stand against the, the evil actual, this Emperor. Kakarot game. Cell, battle the androids in a fight to the death. Is this a new thing or not? Majin Buu, an epic My brain's in Kakarot's the most not new, but... Foe. Along I'm with not the main story, as familiar you can explore with, the like, vast world of Dragon this. Ball Z. Came out last hey, year. Oh, okay. Help out the locals. Or collect ingredients for delicious meals. You could always train to acquire so I was about to say, are they, are they the Budokai there games? There are lots of things no, to keep you like busy. This, this game has been out for ages. Battle episodes, so just a, a new power awakens. Oh, okay. Parts one and two is also included. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot plus a new power awakens set. Budokai. Its way I was about to say, Budokai is like old as shit. <laughs> I thought all my friends were into it. In Grab high a golf club and get ready hey, to tee off. This is coming out soon. The Mario Golf Super Rush game launches soon. Woo! 
Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. <laughs> Fucking Bowser's outfit being Standard the slickest golf. shit in the world in this. Take your time to read the wind and terrain on the green. I'm so excited for this. It's not something you see on the channel much until you watch Yakuza Co I'm of sure. But I fucking love par. golf games. Which is funny because I hate golf in real life. Nice <laughs> Can I watch this in bed on my uh, silent headphones? Smack your ball and chase that. Uh, you ever me so I know you saw this comment? Get your ball Hi. The Hello. Now, <laughs> your rivals with special dashes and special shots. Spade golf looks, a, looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Battle Rip golf. Mario Strikers fans. Do get out over I was on foreign boards when the Wii came out where Strikers the was the big thing. After I never played it, but it. to win. Because there were people playing online and I could not golf play online when it, came, when it came out. Go from rookie to pro with your me Because I've played so little Mario challenges golf. that await may surprise like, you. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever owned and Mario. And here's some golf. news. Hey! Free updates are planned for future Metro release, Kingdom. including additional courses and playable characters. Speed, okay, speed the golf in Metro Kingdom is going to be the sickest shit in the so world. Set your tee time and get ready to ace <laughs> those shots in Mario instead. Golf Super Rush. Hey, swinging onto hey, the Nintendo Switch three system came June 25th. Out. They've got time now. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Ready for the ride of a lifetime? Oh my god, are we going to get the 18th trailer for this game before it's launch? <laughs> Welcome to the vast and vibrant <laughs> world of Monster Hunter. Like every spin-off since Odyssey came out. It's weirdly become one of the most iconic... Um, As a rider in this like, RPG recent, adventure, um, you'll explore diverse from, landscapes from Mario. by riding your monster. Probably because it is companion. so fucking weirdly different for Mario. Gather materials and such as honey just, and ore, it stands then out use as them one to of the craft highlights. items for your journey. <laughs> I find myself also doing golf in the but middle beware of, of the mini traffic. monsters roaming about. <laughs> it's Some a gameplay trailer. It's, but it's others different, may probably. suddenly ambush you. And it's like I haven't to even fight, played the first one. You'll team up with so your monster. I don't even. I use like I know it's a. I know it's an RPG. Like you collect like, like, basically the monsters as Pokemon. Win, but, and you'll be like, rewarded with their materials. How it works beyond that, I'm not even sure. Which I'm can very be forged into new weapons and armor. Is that the third or fourth different story show that's coming out hey, this week? Hey, is that an egg? <laughs> you might be able to hatch a new monster. Takes monstie. place four years after the Incredibly first one. Incredibly powerful monsties cool. can also hatch ah! some rare eggs. Is someone gathered from that one of the quests? Need more traveling buddies? Join up with friends for co-op multiplayer quests and battles. It's amazing how like Buckle the art up, style and even aesthetic just completely monster changes adventure. so drastically for this. And the monsters monster still Hunter look Stories fucking too. sick. Wings of Ruin soars like the onto monsters Nintendo still Switch July 9th. Sick, while also being adorable now because you ride You can play the free demo on June 25th and carry over your demo. save data to the full game. I won't be playing the demo again. I'm playing Stories 1 first. Here's a new game from the head of a certain company. <laughs> we really are just Did getting a lot of hey, things I wasn't me? expecting. I? It's me, Wario. And it's a finally ready, a brand new game from my company. Check it out. You get to control me. Oh my me. god, actual. Wow. Time to do this. Princess Kevin returns, but it's worse, so everyone loves Look it. Look at me go. What rats. Check out these chunks. They came back. And they have one Ashley! I know everyone loves Ashley. Throw that stick thing. Hmm, not the bad. Use the spinning what you might call it. Ha! Nailed it! Same Charles Martinet having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> what? I almost forgot some big news. Two people can play together at the same time. I mean so that's nice. new. Or else. <laughs> I know there's been okay. co-op modes in WarioWare nice. before, but it's like passing right, on each you. game. Yes, you, the one watching this, better get ready for Warrior some amazing. I don't like the 3 d models, mayhem. though. <laughs> get it together. Oh, that's get it a cool together. Name. Game launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system. <laughs> it's crazy to this game. Why is someone talking about this? today on Nintendo eShop. That's pretty cool. Again, not what I was expecting more WarioWare today. What you just saw was the trailer for So Nintendo wins A3 like very together. easily, right? Like it's not even In a competition at this, of this point. Series, there are and new there's still however much left you of this that I've Wario actually got to watch. <laughs> there is also a two-player co-op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the near future, so stay tuned. There's also plugging arm hairs in the game. <laughs> Next, please take a look Pretty at sure this. Pretty sure Nose Errors isn't one of the ones I played. <laughs> What's up, Buster Cap? Sorry, I missed your other message before. I thought it was also Sandra because it was pink because I'm really bad at that. As a high school student living in Tokyo, your life is fairly normal. Gecko High School. But that reality is upended 
after you get pulled into a different dimension. Is this SMT? My brain is wanting to say this is SMT. SMT, okay. <laughs> they use their 40 minutes well on like a certain company? <laughs> Fucking, the way Another Square presented Tokyo their exists. stuff was just a the worst. World they could have presented it so much better and, and people wouldn't have hated it as reside. much. Suddenly, you fuse with the Jet Stream Sand figure, wearing Valstrax armor to fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate realm? <laughs> okay. The world is now transformed into a sprawling binary protagonist. Wasteland. Damn, it's gonna piss no off the typical homophobic audience here. of SMT and Persona games. <laughs> it looks, it looks out the character. To destroy you. Harness your the new demon power to known fight as demons HRT. using a command base system. <laughs> Finding their weak point is key. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions you can perform in a combo will increase. Though demons are Damn, cat and boots go into this game? Crossovers. <laughs> you you may be able to recruit them in negotiations. I didn't get play in that game. Which begin when you open a conversation yeah, no, that, with yeah, them. That on the side there is very Tokyo Mario Sessions. Mm. Show of SMT stuff for people that don't play SMT. I have tried if playing before. If a negotiation is successful, a demon. I think it was a demo. A I don't think I owned SMT before, but I think I did try playing it. In some cases, by rejecting a demon's request, they may feel motivated and join you as an ally. <laughs> demons that do join will fight alongside you and demons grow stronger. I don't know if they can own a MB, but it looks so MB regardless. By using demon allies, another demon can be created. Uh, comes up as my final highlight. The newly fused demon's innate abilities will vary. I mean, Metroid Dread's pretty sick. Granting you a powerful ally, customized to you uh, Jack Frost. Challenge the many demons roaming this post-apocalyptic world There is by harnessing the power of your own. Shots of this that it looks like it's still running on the DS or the 30 What destiny will you choose? <laughs> Other than that, Shin and how Megami good looking the, the main protagonist is, on Nintendo the Switch, on November 12th. <laughs> Pre-orders for the physical version begin June 21st. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5 from Atlas. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Let's see a few more Still Nintendo don't know if I'm Switch sold. headlines. Still don't know if I'm sold. Celebrate 10 years of Danganronpa in despair. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing. Really? Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Really? Thang and Rampa. <laughs> Decadence. Three games in the deadly Duncan Rampa series are coming to Nintendo Switch. Decadence. Ah, Decade. Uh, Monokuma, the self proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game. I mean, it makes sense for it to be on Switch. Death. It's surprising. Unfortunately, <laughs> The only way out of the school and this lethal game is to betray the other students. And so it begins. A body has been discovered! Just say all the meme lines! Demise, a class say all the meme lines! The Don't show the, the trials too specifically or we'll see the spaces that are missing and know who dies. <laughs> Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions oh, and find the guilty party. Sneak attack! No, Are you okay? Best, Best of all. Plus, the board game from Donkin Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. I Rampa S, haven't even Ultimate gotten to Summer. this. <laughs> An all-star cast of characters from the Donkin Rampa series will come together to battle at a tropical resort. I haven't even Who's gotten the to this part yet. <laughs> this Ultimate Beach Brawl. The like once I finish, Rampa Decadence launches as like a once I finish the post game stuff, Switch I know I know there's a board game I need to play, but I haven't even all started it. games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. And it's being expanded in this. <laughs> That's a new one. Oh, we hope you're not afraid of ghosts. Is this Fatal Frame? 
Oh my god. Oh yeah, no, we did hear about this game. <laughs> Still got hit. Bye. <laughs> They can remember the game about Tina just going to the beach having board 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 game. fun together. You uncover the mysteries surrounding the ethereal but deadly Mount Hikami, believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts frequent this mountain. Did Maiden and Blackboard come out for this um, for the Wii U? Can repel and cast them out. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought the game was announced and I never heard about it after that. I thought it was still waiting on it. Locations. Oh. Oh, this okay. This chilling story features various I remember hearing about it. I never realized it actually came out. From different perspectives. Oh, okay. New costumes and photo modes Damn, we are really are getting every single game Can that was on the Wii U Mount boarded. Hikami? We're even getting fucking and Fatal Frame alive. being boarded at this point. <laughs> Fatal Frame. Maiden of Black Water creeps onto Nintendo Switch this year. These games and DLC are coming soon. Some even today. Age of Calamity has got to be one of them. I imagine. Your war Except is not the Chronicles over. X. <laughs> Raise hell in the first campaign expansion in for time. Doom Eternal. In the time. Ancient Gods Part 1. Man, it is noticeable that this is the Switch Deeper version of the game. More challenging combat awaits. Star Fox Zero and Xenoblade X. I don't think threats. you're going to get Star Fox Zero. I don't know if they can make that game terrain. for any console that isn't the fucking Wii U. The fate <laughs> of the cosmos is in your hands. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches on Nintendo Switch later today. God, God, imagine if Devil's Third came across. For two oh iconic God. skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. Skate to era-defining jams as the legendary Tony Hawk and a roster of new and returning pros. Take your oh, sessions stretch. on the go with all the Sorry, original game modes. Sorry, I'm still, I'm still and impressed. locally <laughs> or online to show <laughs> off your tricks against, against other skaters. Talking about our sessions, and we would have much that game rolled on the pad. Pro Skater 1 and I mean, like, 2, launching on Nintendo did. Switch June 25th. Because obviously you're going to be more to the way um, you really needed the gamepad in the first place. No, it needed the gamepad a lot. I, After I am someone who defends Top of Zero, and I love its use of the gamepad, so do keep this in mind. And only one group of heroes can stop her. ordered it to the Switch. The Strange Brigade. While removing the second screen element, it wouldn't through play an the same. Mummified monstrosities <laughs> while solving more people would probably like dungeons. it. Go it alone more people or would team probably up with enjoy other daring it. adventurers in local wireless co-op and online play. If you thought Zero didn't need the gamepad, you'd have a lot of problems. <laughs> when Strange Brigade it used the gamepad, but it didn't Nintendo need Switch it. Later today. Yes, it did. <laughs> if you wanted it to play the way that it did, yeah, it did. <laughs> It's a new it adventure of cosmic did. proportions. Hey, we get to see this in here. Nice. Mario and his friends will team up with the rabbits once again to restore order to the galaxy. Our heroes must stop a mysterious new oh my god, rabbit Luma. The universe into chaos. Oh my god, rabbit Luma. Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait, is she bored already? <laughs> People did tell me that rabbit Rosalina was emo as shit. <laughs> You can remember what too much trouble. If you removed it, it would play like a, it would play different. It wouldn't be the same new strategic you and chaotic possibilities. So aim for victory. Not the proper try. This is quick from your friends. Version. Wait, who's that? Someone who's badass. Well, one thing's certain. This is gonna be one heck of a galactic adventure. I mean, I still haven't even finished Mario the first one, so seeing a full trailer doesn't mean much to me. Into space or onto Nintendo Switch next year. But seeing that is cool. I don't know what this is. Is this Advance Wars? Fuck right off. This isn't real. This isn't real. They're announcing at the end of this trailer that the game has already been cancelled. This is not fucking real. Come on. No way! No fucking way! It's still only a remake. It's still only a remake, but even fucking that is like, no fucking way. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Thrilling stories, memorable characters, and vibrant gameplay are in store as you lead the commanding oh officers to victory. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. The first two Advance Wars okay. campaigns in Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Oh, it's March both of them. Nintendo Switch this holiday. Is there a lot of me as a GBA fan? I mean, Nintendo you get a single diffusion and fucking Advance Wars 1 and 2? How is everything? All right. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. Please take okay. a look.
Lost announcement for the day. Age of Calamity! I don't know if this should be the final thing they show off. <laughs> I don't know if Age of Calamity should be the final thing they show off unless they're following this up with stuff about Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> it's Golden Sun and Mario and Luigi. The company that made Mario and Luigi has gone defunct, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you're getting that one. Oh my god, he has nunchucks. He literally tore off a Guardian's legs and is using his nunchucks. Link, that's fucked up. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. I think it's fucked up. I think it's fucked up. <laughs> Final Luigi Dev is no more in Golden Sun 3 killed the series. Reboot it. Gives a shit nowadays. Master Cycle! Zelda on the Master Cycle! Oh, because she uses the Shaker runes and stuff. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, that's in two days. Shit. Battle tested guardian weapons. Uh, Link for Fire, Master Cycle for Zelda, Apocalyptic Difficulty. So if there's no new, like, levels or stuff, it's like, what? Hello there. Oh, shit, I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first Don't wave actually of show DLC me Breath of the Wild 2 stuff. Warriors I will shit my Age pants. Calamity expansion pass from Koei that being said, Games. seeing Zelda on a motorbike is already making me want to do Link that. And his allies through more battles <laughs> that took place 100 years prior to I the events the of the spot. Legend of Zelda <laughs> Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. I have a few more things to share with you all today. I mean, it might not be Breath of the Wild 2, it is. It might, it, we'll begin with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game. It which might be anniversary stuff. <laughs> just a few extra challenges, story stuff's in You'll November. Immerse yourself in the role I just want, link by like, using if you're giving me a bunch of new weapons and stuff, I just want somewhere to controls. use them that isn't just redoing stuff I've already done. Mode, it's more so that, even if it's like the same, the like, even if it's just new challenges to go towards a completion listing thing, I just want somewhere to, like, if you're giving me a bunch of new stuff and tell me to just go back and just replay missions, that's not as exciting as... What is the origin of the Master Sword? Yo. Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend I wanna for future use, I wanna generations? I want to use the Master Cycle some new stuff. These will all be unraveled in this game. I mean, we seeing Zelda on a motorbike again, the that alone Zelda, is Skyward like Sword HD. sexy as hell. <laughs> so there's that. And? Next up. <laughs> Here's a little something you might like. This is a Game & Watch system that lets you play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. Oh, this we year, the, like, the, the original Mario Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. While we That's don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, we've been working on this Game & Watch system as a special item to help mark the occasion <laughs> and reflect fondly on the earliest days of the Legend of Zelda. I did have a lot of fun with, Ze Ze with Legend of Zelda 1. With the first game in the series, I'd like the Legend one of Zelda. flow with it, and then the rest of it I actually really liked. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. And, and the Game Boy version Damn. of The Legend of Zelda <laughs> Link's Awakening game. As well as a special version of the Game & Watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system, from longer <laughs> Legend of Zelda games to the pick-up-and-play game Vermin. I mean, that's cool. It's cute. Addition, it's a cute little thing. Regarding the watch functionality for the game it's a cute watch little system, thing. Three games in Zelda clock <laughs> Based on The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and an interactive timer themed after Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. <laughs> you can play with both of them by taking control of Link. Oh, shit. Killed Doc Link. <laughs> we hope you'll enjoy playing this game and watch system whenever and wherever you'd like. I mean, that's cute. That's cute as hell. All right, here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to The Legend oh, of Zelda oh, Breath fuck. of the Wild. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Two years have passed since we first announced fuck. this game, and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm so incredibly not fucking ready. <laughs> I am not ready at all. Zelda, no! Now she's not playable. Don't have her fall somewhere and be the re and re have to rescue her again.
Uh, excuse me, what? Oh my god. What is going on? <laughs> Give us a name. <laughs> You're leaving this on this on the screen for a long time. Give us a fucking name. Next year? Next year! If they're not giving us a date of like of roughly when next year, it's gonna be towards the end of next year. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. We'd I like noticed. to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. We still don't have a fucking name. We still don't have a name. How was that? Oh, I am so That's fucking for giddy Nintendo for that. We are that is... diligently continuing development on a number of other games we that didn't show That is not today. what I was expecting I Breath of the Wild 2 to aim for at to all. In store Everyone was Nintendo thinking, oh, I saw a lot of people thinking it was going to be an Thank underground thing because of what we saw before. Is that another thing first that? Certainly the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wilds. That is absolutely not... <laughs> We're aiming for 2022 means it still, it still might be 2023. Zelda drops down, so it might be a mix. I'm annoyed that Zelda seems to be immediately put into the role of Rescue the Princess again. That annoys me. I was really hoping that she might be playable. Which I know is a big ask, because Nintendo aren't going to do that. But, um... Because it's just very not Nint uh, not a very Nintendo-y kind of thing to do. Um, so Nintendo wins A3. Nintendo wins A3, and I don't think like that's even a competition at this point. Nintendo wins A3, like, pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2 looks really good. I noticed the way stasis functioned is different. You don't cast stasis and stop time on something. You give something the world as a stand and it becomes the only thing that can move in time. Um, <laughs> you're in the sky. Link's hair is fucking fluffy as shit. He has something on his arm going on. You can drip to the ceiling and soak through floors, which is going to make explosion a totally different thing. Um, wow. Wow. I mean, because I saw a lot of people worried that Breath of the Wild 2 was going to take place on the same map as the first game, which means that the whole sense of discovery thing would be gone. But if they're expanding that much shit in the sky, that's a big fucking deal. Uh, uh, like we saw in earlier, trailers, Link likely loses his arm and gets special sleep prosthetic or something. I mean, in that you saw like he, like there was powder, oh, like not powder, smoke coming out of his arm, and he was holding his um, thing there. So we are once again getting this is this is the Devil May Cry five of Zelda games. <laughs> uh, poor Link has to play as the dead weight. They're gonna confirm Ganon is his dad. <laughs> uh, give Link a devil trigger, cowards. <laughs> if Link gets a DT in um, Breath of the Sky, I'm gonna call it, um, it becomes the game of the forever. It, it replaces Wonderful 101 as my favorite game if Link gets a DT. <laughs> uh, Nintendo wins this easy. Microsoft was pretty cool, but this was a lot of new stuff. I mean... Breath of the Wild 2 is not new, but we actually saw some shit that gives us an idea about what the fuck is going on. Um, so seeing that is amazing. But I mean, like, there was a number of new shit here. The Smash character isn't a Smash character that's going to blow open the worlds, but it is a cool... You know what? You know what the funniest... <laughs> Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread. The fact that we actually got a fucking sequel to Fusion is the biggest reveal of this entire thing that no one was expecting. I <laughs> Like... No one was expecting that, and then it fucking happens. It is also funny how literally the only mention of fighting games that we got this entire fucking E3 is Tekken in Smash. <laughs> it's the only mention of fighting games the entire time. Um, I mean, yeah, no, this is good. This is good shit.
good. <laughs> um, yeah. Easy win. Easy win. Thing is, like, <laughs> SF5 Esports. I, I don't even know if I should count that. I don't even know if I should count that. Especially wasn't expecting them to finally make the game they wanted to make 18 years ago. <laughs> Dread is like the announcement of E3. That 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 is the actually out of everything, the wildest announcement the entirety of E3 has had. Like, it's a new Smash character you expect. Breath of the Wild two information, we were thinking was definitely within the realm of possibility. Uh, a sequel to Fusion is not anything something anyone was expecting. Um, a new warrior where it's cool, but it's not like a massive mind blowing deal, but it's like, hell yeah. Um, Mario party superstars fine seems to finally fucking be the thing that everyone fucking wanted. We now understand why Mario party 10 got that update several years after its release to add online stuff that it did. They were literally testing it for superstars. Um, <laughs> So they didn't make any bingos, though. I mean, the stuff that was announced is weird. The stuff that was announced is... No, I wouldn't expect anyone to expect that. Yeah, Dread was literally cancelled. <laughs> Sakamoto literally said that Dread has been cancelled twice before due to not being able to what the, um to do what they wanted to do technically in the treehouse. That's amazing. It's been cancelled. The game has come back from the dead twice. <laughs> yeah, that is the announcement of A3. So my thing is, do I play Dread when it comes out? Or do I try and play... Like, I, because I, I'm already going a little bit uh, um, anachronistic like with playing all the Metroid games, because I'm playing all the Prime games. And I haven't really touched the others. I've seen Fusion. Like, I've I've watched the speedruns and stuff on Fusion, and I think I saw the best friends play it. And I've seen, I believe, a mod of the entirety of Super Metroid... But I haven't like I haven't played the uh, the 3DS Return uh, 2. Yeah, Prime is straight after Metroid One and before Metroid uh, Metroid Two. So you're saying if I did Metroid One or Zero Mission, basically, then I would basically be in a point to like then go through it all. So I have to do Metroid Zero Mission Return, but me Returns and Super Metroid and Fusion before August, so I can do Dread when it comes out. Is that what I'm understanding? Play Zero Mission, it's fantastic. <laughs> I don't know if I should play Dread when it comes out. Part of me wants to. Part of me wants to. I feel like Metroid's probably a series where I can do it out of order and it doesn't really matter. Because I've already started doing that. And, like, I've already seen all of Fusion. So, like, when it comes to the story stuff for Dread, if it relates to Fusion's, like, SAX stuff like that, then I, I'm already familiar with that. So there's that. October, not August. Oh, fucking... Oh, God. Switcher, I thought it was like 10th August. I didn't realize it was 8th of October. Never mind. Well, it's taking me about two years to finish Corruption. So trying to finish all the others before that comes out. No, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to rush the entire thing just so I can do Dread, um, just so I can do Dread in order when it comes out. I might, I might, st I will probably, I'm definitely leaning towards doing Dread when it comes out anyway. And I'll just go through the whole Metroid series not in not in um release order it'll be one of the few series that i don't do in release order <laughs> the others are much shorter than the prime games yeah but i'm also bad at them so there is that like i don't have any experience with playing a 2d metroid game so i don't actually i i worry that my experience like lack of experience will be very bad at that since that one is that that, that one is actually long like at this point because zero mission and the remake of returns exist is there a reason to actually go back to like the original metroid and original 2 like is there actually reasons to go back to those or is it just like a play the remakes and like they kind of just they they do function as just full replacements of the originals and you don't need to go back to it or is there like enough change that it isn't the same i actually have no idea I have no idea for those. Especially considering how far apart the remakes are. One of them's GBA and one of them's 3DS. <laughs> uh, not really OG, probably not for two. Okay, so I could just do Zero Mission and Remake. ASMR 2 or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, they're different, but the first two didn't really age that well. Okay, yeah. I guess if you don't care <laughs> um, about... The Zero Suit parts. I care very much about the Zero Suit parts. It's sexy as hell. <laughs> of course I do. 
Uh, zero mission attempts, as friends are fine replacements. Hell yeah. I'm not saying I'll do them before Dread comes out. Metroid Prime's probably a series where I'm fine going around. Not in, not in release order. Again, I've already started the Prime game, so I don't think it matters too much. <laughs> so I might do Dread when it comes out. If I finish Corruption by then, which fuck I'd hope so, considering I'm now actually re playing it again. And I'm, like, in the pirate homeworld. Um, if I finish Corruption before then, I might do Dread when it comes out. Obviously, Breath of the Wild 2 when it, when it comes out. So, I think that, so they've now announced possibly a 2022 thing. We didn't even do the Prime Waters release in order since we skipped Hunters. Is Hunters worth doing? <laughs> uh, I, I think once you play AM2R and Samus Returns, but yeah. <laughs> I mean... I could also play the ROM hack. I could also play the ROM hack or the re actual remake. I could I could also do that. But yeah. Eh, fuck it. I'll just do the whole series out of order. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> uh, I, fuck it. I'll do, I'll do the whole series out of order. I'll do Dread when it comes out. That'll be my next Metroid game. Uh, yeah, Nintendo wins A3. And it's not even fucking close. Like, it's not even remotely close. Um, I'm out of here because I do have work relatively soon. So I can't spend a lot of time talking after this. This was good. This was, like, a genuinely just damn good conference. You would honestly think, like, they haven't been in a pandemic for the last 18 months, despite the fact that we have. <laughs> so, it is either Nintendo worked out better than other companies how to work from home. They made their employees work at the office um, and not c cared about them. Or they had this stuff in the pipeline for a long time and the end of it was slowed down and some of the stuff would have come out last year if it wasn't for COVID. Because <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to have considering what's been going on the last year and a half. Like, some hundreds have had they repeat the same two boss fights four times each is very bad. Uh, there's also Federation Force, if anyone wants me to play that, or Other M, if anyone wants me to play that. Uh, I hope Dread comes out and it's good. Like, considering the most recent stuff we've had for Metroid is Federation Force and Other M, which people are not keen on. There's the Metroid 2 remake, which, from my understanding, is pretty well received, and then several years of prime four with nothing i hope dread comes out and it's good <laughs> they have the pacing of these directs on point they have so much experience doing these directs they know how to make a good fucking conference and i'm honestly shocked the others don't copy them more <laughs> 2019 had dc superhero uh, girls or something it also had banjo and smash and it also had breath of the wild 2 so there is that <laughs> So I'm starting to the same devs as Dread. Yeah, you have to suffer through other M. Oh, why? Why are you going to make me do this? I'm going to make affiliate. Other M's going to be a sub goal. 500 subs and I'll do other M. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm out of, I'm actually out of here. I will see you all around. Thank you for uh, tuning into E3. Um, I don't know what to do about the Breath of the Wild 100% speedrun. They've said 2022. So I'll do it some stage next year. But I don't know when next year. I Because I... If it's like, if it's possibly late 2022, part of me is thinking I probably don't want a 100% speed run Breath of the Wilds 1, like a month before Breath of the Wild 2 comes out, because otherwise I might be a bit burnt already going into Breath of the Wild 2. So it might be like, I might try to aim for it a bit earlier in, in next year, but that shit's happening. I did say if, if we got news on it today or a release window, I would do a speed run for it for that. So stay tuned for the future. Never said how big of an estimate it had to be. I literally said a window, which is what I meant. I it's what I meant. Like if they said twenty twenty three today, I would say all right, speed around twenty twenty three. Um, <laughs> but yeah, because uh, I'm I'm trying to think. I should probably pace it out so it's quite a while before Breath of the Wild two, just so I'm not already burnt out on the gameplay by by playing it for seventy hours in a single week. Um, so stay tuned for that. I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't really know why I decided that was a thing. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. And obviously all the other games that are coming out here and everything like that. And also a conference in like a few days for um, Kazuya and Smash. So until then, this is version 2. Signing out.